The study I'll be presenting at ASCO involves the assessment of baseline tumor size with clinical outcomes in patients who are receiving MK3475 or anti-PD-1 therapy and who have metastatic melanoma. The study started back in 2011-2012 and is still ongoing. This study is an uh, international study both in the United States and Europe and has a cl a close to 419 patients uh, for this particular analysis. This study involves a breakthrough drug, uh, MK3475, which is an immunostimulatory molecule that has been having excellent success in patients with melanoma. And one of the questions that remains unanswered in this drug is how does the baseline tumor size impact the clinical outcomes with this drug? So as a physician, we have a, we, we have, um, to try to, we have a variety of therapies to pick for the patient and we want to try to pick the right ones, but trying to fit the right patient with the right drug is a challenge. And one of the questions that, that we came up with was, does the baseline tumor size actually impact survival or response to this drug? And our gut instinct said that yes, it would, but there's never been a robust study looking at baseline tumor size and how it relates to outcomes in melanoma and specifically with this drug. Not surprisingly, we found that baseline tumor size was a strong predictor of both survival as well as response to the therapy with MK3475. What was surprising was it was the strongest factor for survival and response. And we think that, the, that this data provides further support that tumor size should be incorporated to prognostic algorithms when designing clinical trials to make sure that the trials are evenly balanced on both arms with patients with high and low uh, tumor size. When an oncologist and the patient have a conversation and we're trying to pick therapies for the patient, uh, if the tumor size is, is significantly large, um, we might want to provide a, 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 a different therapy first that could potentially shrink the tumor uh, in a more um, uh, expedited way and then perhaps provide the MK3475 or an immunostimulatory drug after we get the tumor size to a, to a lower volume. So this is very preliminary and only looked at in a retrospective fashion. So of course we need to validate this in further studies before it can cl change clinical practice. But the goal in the future will be to validate this and if, if we do validate the findings it could change the way that we approach patient selections for uh, therapy in melanoma.